Yo guys, what is up? Davis here, and today I got a new server, actually. Um, I know I've been making a lot of these stealth server videos, or, you know, stealth videos about, you know, which ones are good, which ones are bad. Um, the last two videos that I made, actually last three videos, about Edge offline files, Rich Gang hack server, and Xenon. Uh, they're all pretty terrible. Um, Xenon was actually fake. It was, I think it was Edge actually renamed to Xenon. So it's basically Edge that you're using. And then um, I don't, I didn't make a video on Xbox Live Gold, but uh, that was pretty terrible too. Um, and I don't know the Rich King hack server. When you put that on your console, I'm pretty sure. I think it made a file just like Xbox Live Gold did and it said Xbox Live Gold log on so something suspicious about that too but anyway guys uh, I want to show you guys this server right here they've put a lot of work into this server and you know I really want to thank these people for doing all this and for doing it for free too so you know I'm I got a lot of respect for you guys and uh, so I made a file myself um, you know, I got a setup in there uh, uh, so you guys can read it. Um, you know, the .xcx file, which is the server, and the launch ini if you need it. So the launch ini has the, it has everything set up basically right here. So all you gotta do is drag and drop all these files onto your console, restart it, and you're good to go. But one thing I do want to tell you guys, you have to authenticate yourself and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I got to find my CPU key. I don't know where the heck it's at, but this one. So you got to get your CPU key, which is right here. So let me copy this. And we're going to go to their website now, which is, I have it right here. And basically, here's all the features of it. You got Black Ops 2 Bypass and Public, public Cheater, 100% working, Ghost Bypass, AWOL Bypass, um, Destiny Bypass, you know, this is really good. So, XCX Auto Updating Gold Spoofing, so you know, I have a lot of respect for these guys, but um, I have already redeemed my um, time for my console that I'm using. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna type your CPU key right in here and you're gonna type your name um, one thing I did notice about this website is um, it doesn't go by the CPU key it, it goes by the name so basically what I mean by that is say we put no CPU key in right and we type in John okay cuz I already tried John Smith but just type in John and click add this is what it says it says John you already have time so uh, they need to fix that with their website but what I'm gonna do and what I recommend you guys to do is actually uh, go look in the USB ports of your console on the front of it and there will be a serial number so just type that serial number in right there into your um, into the name right here of your just type that serial number in from your console type it in the name right there and then type your CPU key in and then click add time and then it will say your time has been added and everything and then you can actually check your time which I, I'll do right here um, it's already got mine redeemed and it says lifetime true expiration date 2030 which is a pretty long time from now um, time left 5186 days 3 hours 50 minutes 40 seconds so you know it's definitely a lifetime I'm not gonna be playing Xbox for this long so uh, <laughs> uh, anyway guys so now that we got that out of the way I'm just gonna get out of here once you authenticate yourself um, you can go ahead and I'm just gonna do neighborhood for this video since it's easier and basically we're gonna go to open neighborhood click JTAG 
retail hard drive and I already have everything set up on here I think I can zoom in on this there we go okay so yeah we already have everything set up and we got a log actually once they get it set up um, I'm just going to show you guys this I did get one error um, yesterday when I was playing. Actually, no, it was today. My bad. Uh, today I got an error. It said failed to connect the server. Trying again, one out of four or something like that. It didn't kick me offline or nothing. I didn't get banned. So you know, it, um, I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, guys, um, just ignore this. Delete it. Anyway, what we're gonna do? is we're going to open my folder and um, if you guys have a menu set up like a like a GTA menu or something like that um, I wouldn't use the launch INI because it's going to delete it or it's not it's not going to delete it it's going to clear it out of your plugin so when you launch up GTA 5 or something it's it's you're not going to be able to use it unless you get like jrpc.ini which I have a video on how to use that and but basically um, since we're since it's easier I'm just gonna open this which is launch ini if needed which I spelled wrong I'll fix that but um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop all these right into here and it's gonna ask you to replace it click yes to all and then if you restart your console now you should be online and it should say lifetime which right now I'm going to show you guys what to do, or I'm going to show you guys what my Xbox is going to do alright guys so my console is booting up and we should get a notification at the start yeah it says welcome Davis to Mr. Mods 1999 live time lifetime which is pretty awesome um YouTube so um one thing I have noticed which is um kind of disappointing uh this dot .xex file that he gave that he released it actually has a it has blue notifications built into it so you can't take you can't use any other color notifications with it that I know of because the way it's built in and everything so um, like right now I have light blue elite or I have light blue notifications on right now and as you can see that's not light blue so um, yeah uh, so you can't use any color notifications but um I'm gonna show you guys oh yeah the guide button or the guide menu it's blue so that's that's pretty awesome too but um, hopefully he gets hopefully he releases more different colors and everything like that that'd be pretty cool or maybe he lets us um, you know he could let us change the colors on here or something I don't know but uh, if you guys have like a GT5 mod menu I'm gonna show you guys how to switch it out just real fast so we're gonna go to my games XCX menu we don't need to sign in. And click RB. Go to dash launch. Installer. Default.xex. And we're going to go to plugins. Click that. And then I'm going to clear out plugin 3. And then we're going to set our mod menu in plugin 3. So you're going to click on HDD and then click on your mod menu which that's my mod menu right there then we're going to click RB go to HDD and click X to save it and then when you restart your console you're going to have your mod menu for GTA 5 so um, hope this video helped you guys out
If you need a console, go to my Instagram. It messes me on kick and all that good stuff. So, uh, everyone have a great night. Peace out.